In a world of tiny terror, a challenge quite absurd will tackle it together, word by rhyming word. Imagine, if you will, a pint-sized adversary equipped with a sticky lollipop and a scowl quite contrary. This isn't your typical battlefield, my friends, nor your average foe. This is the land of Play-Doh and crayons where the wild toddlers go. These nimble little creatures with their cherubic faces rule the world from their high chairs in their tiny tyrant graces. But fear not, for we shall embark on a journey, a quest of wit and guile to outsmart these tiny tyrants with a wink and a smile. We'll navigate through tantrums and dodge flying food with the grace of a swan and the fortitude of a dude. Oh, the tales we'll tell, the tricks we'll learn in this battle of wills where no corner is left unturned. So buckle up, dear viewers, for a journey quite odd as we learn to battle wits with a cunning toddler squad. In the ring of life our opponent stands quite small, yet their power to wreak havoc is the greatest of all. Yes, we're talking about those cherubic little beings known as toddlers. They may be pint-sized, but believe me, their capacity for mischief is anything but. Imagine, if you will, a creature with the energy of a caffeinated squirrel, the tenacity of a honey badger, and the unpredictability of a cat on catnip. Now give that creature the ability to walk on two legs and a mind that's constantly exploring, learning, and testing boundaries. Congratulations, you've just created a toddler. These tiny titans are masters of the unexpected. One moment, they're peacefully building a tower of blocks. The next moment, they're painting the dog with yogurt. Their ability to swing from serenity to chaos in the blink of an eye is truly a sight to behold. But what makes them truly formidable foes is not just their unpredictability. It's their inherent charm. They have the ability to melt hearts with a single giggle, to disarm you with a toothy grin, to make you forget their latest transgression with a simple innocent hug. This, my friends, is their secret weapon. They know how to use their charm to their advantage, and they're not afraid to use it. And let's not forget about their resilience. Toddlers are like tiny rubber bouncy balls. They fall down, they get back up, they bump into things, they shake it off, they cry, they laugh. They're relentless, they're resilient, and they're ready to take on the world. In the end, what we must remember is that these adorable little beings are not our enemies, but our teachers. They teach us about curiosity, about resilience, about the joy of discovery and the power of laughter. So while they may be tough opponents, they're also our greatest allies in the journey of life. These pint-sized powerhouses with their smiles so broad make formidable adversaries worthy of our applaud. In the game of tots, distraction is your sword. Wield it wisely and you'll seldom be ignored. Now let's dive into the art of distraction. A delicate craft, a subtle act requiring your creativity, spontaneity, and a dash of dramatic flair. Picture this. You're in a standoff with a two-foot-tall whirlwind of emotions, armed with an ear-piercing screech that could shatter glass. You, on the other hand, have your wits and the power of distraction. First up, the classic, look over there, tactic. It's as old as time, but don't underestimate its effectiveness. The trick is to make the distraction more appealing than the current object of fixation. It's like magic. One moment they're on a mission to redecorate your white walls with spaghetti sauce. The next, they're captivated by the wonder of a spinning top on the coffee table. Next, we have the silly dance maneuver. Break out those funky moves, channel your inner chicken or gorilla, anything that'll get a giggle. You see, laughter is the best diversion. It diffuses tension, shifts focus, and before you know it, the tantrum has been forgotten, replaced with fits of giggles. Then there's the storytelling stratagem. It's the perfect tool to whisk them away to a land of imagination where dragons roam free and the moon is made of cheese. The more vivid the story, the more engrossed they become, their little eyes sparkling with curiosity and wonder. Finally, we have the shiny object ploy. A simple trinket, a sparkling bauble, or a flashy toy car can work wonders in diverting their attention. It's like they have a built-in radar for shiny things. Remember, the key is to be quick, be creative, and most importantly, be engaging. It's an art, a skill that needs practice and patience. But once mastered, it's a powerful tool in your toddler taming arsenal. With a song, a dance, or a shiny sparkling hoard, you've mastered the art of distraction. Give yourself an award. When dealing with a tot, negotiation is key. A skill as vital as the air we breathe or a buzzing bumblebee. To navigate the terrain of toddlerhood, you must be a master negotiator, a diplomat at the highest level. You're dealing with a small person who possesses the stubbornness of a mule, 
the unpredictability of a summer thunderstorm and the negotiating skills of a seasoned poker player. Imagine, if you will, this scenario. A two-foot-tall human with chubby cheeks and an adorable giggle is standing in the middle of the supermarket, refusing to move until they get a candy bar. Now you could wrestle them into submission, but we've already talked about the perils of physical confrontation. So what's left? Negotiation, my friends, begin with empathy. Get down on their level, look them in the eye, and say, I understand you want the candy bar, but we have ice cream at home. This sets the stage for a compromise. It shows you're not the enemy, you're on their side. Next, offer alternatives. How about we get a fruit instead? You can choose. Would you like an apple or banana? This gives them a sense of control, a vital aspect in toddler negotiations. Remember, you're dealing with a toddler, not a Wall Street broker. Keep your language simple and your tone gentle. We can't have candy now, but we can have ice cream after dinner. Does that sound good? Humor is your secret weapon. Make them laugh, and you'll often diffuse the situation. If we eat too much candy, we might turn into a giant gummy bear. Can you imagine that? A gummy bear going to school. And of course, there's the promise of rewards. If you're good and help me finish shopping, we can go to the park later. This often works like a charm. In conclusion, negotiating with a toddler is an art. It requires patience, creativity, and a good sense of humor. But once you've mastered it, you'll find it's a game changer. With the promise of a treat or a trip to the sea, you've unlocked the power of negotiation. As easy as one, two, three. Consistency, dear friends, is our secret weapon here. It helps to set boundaries and makes the rules quite clear. When it comes to dealing with the relentlessly energetic tots, consistency is the key. It's like the secret sauce, the magic ingredient, the game changer. Imagine trying to build a tower of blocks without a consistent base. It's bound to topple, right? Same principle applies when handling toddlers. Picture this, you've told your toddler that bedtime is at seven o'clock sharp. But then, one day, you let it slide to 8 because, well, you are feeling a bit lenient. Now, my dear friends, you've opened Pandora's box. The little negotiator now thinks bedtime is flexible, and oh boy, are you in for a treat. That's where consistency comes in. It's about setting a routine and sticking to it, come rain or shine. It's about being firm but fair, setting boundaries but allowing room for fun. It's about making sure your toddler knows what to expect and when to expect it. It's about creating a sense of security. And trust me, toddlers thrive on that. But how do you maintain this consistency, you ask? Well, picture this. You're a coach and your toddler is your star player. You've got to keep your game plan consistent, repeat your plays, and make sure your player knows what's coming. In the world of toddlers, this translates to regular meal times, consistent bedtimes, and a steady flow of activities and remember, it's not about being rigid or strict. It's about creating a rhythm, a flow that your toddler can dance to. It's about being the conductor of their little symphony, guiding them through the music of life with a steady, consistent beat. So be the rock in their river of chaos. Be the lighthouse guiding them through the storm. Be the consistent force that helps them navigate through the wild, wacky world of toddlerhood. With rules that never waver and a routine held dear, you've mastered the art of consistency. Give yourself a cheer. We've journeyed through the toddler realm with laughter and some tears, and now we've reached the end. Let's give ourselves three cheers. We've learned to understand our foes, their tantrums, and their toys. We've learned to use distraction, a most effective ploy. The power of negotiation we've seen can hold the sway with a well-timed cookie or a promise of a play. Consistency, the key to keep the peace at bay. A routine and a schedule keeps the meltdowns away. We've laughed, we've learned, we've soldiered on through the land of tiny terrors. And now we stand, triumphant, free of toddler-induced errors. So here's to you, Braveheart, who's seen this battle through, who's learned the art of toddler war and emerged victorious and true. Remember, dear viewers, with a tot, there's no need for fright. Just wield your weapons wisely and you'll always win the fight.